Hello everyone and welcome to Machad's Shooting Bench. Uh, we have another classic Smith & Wesson revolver to review for you today. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the Smith & Wesson Model 60 5 Shot 38 Special Revolver. Now uh, check to make sure it's empty. See it's got uh, 5 charge holes as opposed to 6 on your typical revolver or known as the 6 shooter. Um, this is what's called a Smith & Wesson J-frame, which is the smallest of the Smith & Wesson frame sizes. Um, this one is known as the Model 60. If you uh, look right there, you can see Mod 60. Um, this was Smith & Wesson's first foray into stainless steel guns. Uh, this particular model was made in the mid-70s. Um, uh, this particular gun actually was made in the mid-70s. Um, the Model 60 was introduced as uh, Smith & Wesson's first stainless steel gun and it was really revolutionary at the time just because um, up until that point most guns were, uh, were blued steel and they really weren't sure how stainless steel would work in the construction of firearms but it turns out it worked just fine and, and it also offered that degree of corrosion resistance that they were looking for um, in a handgun that was supposed to be carried uh, all the time. So uh, if we look over here um, you can see it's just your standard Smith & Wesson 5-shot uh, 38. Um, I replaced the, uh, the um, Hogue rubber grips that came on this one with the original Smith & Wesson medallion grips just because I like those better. They feel better in my hand, oddly enough. Most people replace those when they first buy these guns, but I actually wanted the factory grips. They fit my hand much better. Um, as you can see, this is a round barrel, uh, round butt model, excuse me and uh, not a square butt. Most of these are made in round butt models. They do make, um, the Model 36 was made in a square butt edition as well. It's got the uh, the grooved um, uh, trigger and it also does not have the bobbed hammer like some of the uh, the J-frames do. Some of the J-frames either are concealed hammer which means they have nothing or they have this uh, shroud that covers the hammer and you can only see just the, the nub of the hammer enough to cock it but it prevents the gun from snagging in your pocket if you if you prefer pocket carry. Um, so we'll come up a little closer. You can see the Smith & Wesson on this side. And it also has the exposed um, ejector rod, which isn't really that big of a deal. Some people um, don't really like those because they're afraid that'll get easily bent, but um, really shouldn't be striking it that hard, you know, I mean, unless you're pistol whipping people back in the 50s or 40s. Uh, <laughs> But uh, 38 S and W special. Um, some of the modern ones that are made um, are made uh, in 357 Magnum. But when this gun originally came out, they weren't sure how things would, how you know, people would handle the recoil in a gun of this size. Because I mean, if you look at it, it fits pretty well in my hand. I mean, it's not a very large gun. This is the step down from the K frame that you saw in the other review of the 19 and the 66. Um, these guns were meant for just uh, small concealed carry, um, very concealable, very easy to carry around. Um, nowadays they make them in uh, exotic metals like uh, scandium or titanium in the airweight series. Um, those guns are much lighter. This one probably, uh, this one maybe weighs a pound and a few ounces. I mean it's not too too heavy. I mean you put it in your pocket, it doesn't pull your pants down or anything. But, I mean, it's definitely heavier than some of the air weight guns. It also has the, um, the like I said, the, the non-chopped hammer, which I prefer because I like, I like the option of being able to bring the hammer back or double action pull. Um, this also does not have the countersunk uh, chamber, um, just like the 19 does. The 66 does not have it as well. And you've got five shots. And um, typically when I carry this, I carry a uh, HKS speed loader. You can see the 36. And uh, carry spear, gold dot, 125 grain um, short barrel defense loads. And then one lead round nose just because I shot all my spear gold dot at the range and that's all I had left to fill out the speed loader. So, But uh, four shots of the spear gold dot and then the... Um, the lead round nose and uh, so really really small gun um, great for concealed carry these are really great value I've had this one for about four years now 
and I love shooting it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty polished up. I haven't taken it out to the range in a while, so I'm sure I'll take care of that soon. But uh, the sights are pretty minuscule. They're just, um, as you can see here, they're cut right into the top strap, and there's this notch, and it just lines up with that front, um, that front ramp sight that's serrated to reduce glare, which is awesome. And then uh, this up here doesn't glare off too much, but it, it is kind of shiny sometimes on a sunny day, so it is kind of hard to pick it up. But as you can see, it's also kind of hard to pick them up regardless, just because they're so small. But this really is not a, a target gun. Um, this is more of a uh, just, uh, you know, protect yourself gun, keep in your pocket. So you're not going to be making 50 yard shots with this pistol. But um, the trigger pull on it is pretty good. Um, much heavier than the K frames just because I think the gun is smaller and the geometry on the inside of it um, causes that, you know, just physics. Not enough um, leverage. But uh, the single action pull is great. Very crisp. And you've got five shots, which I mean. Uh, the Colt Detective Special, which is a similar size snubby, has a has a bit bigger cylinder and it holds six shots. But I mean, yeah, that's 20% increase in firepower. But five shots should be enough to get you out of any situation that you would need to deal with if you're carrying this gun. So um, definitely a classic, classic Smith and Wesson revolver. Um, if you ever see one for sale, don't hesitate to pick it up because it will last you many, many years as long as you take care of it. They're a great gun, really accurate and fun to shoot, and this is one of my favorite pieces, if not my favorite. So, hope you enjoyed the review. I'll give you a few more close-up views of the gun, and thanks for watching.